Hello everyone and welcome back to the fifth instalment of End All Forgotten Stories. I post these videos every week on a Friday so make sure to subscribe if you enjoy or haven't already. There is quite a large percentage of you that haven't yet so make sure to look into it. It's free and you can always unsubscribe later on. That being said, let's get straight into this episode. Okay, so we had just finished talking to Tilo Aranfil. He just told us about the cleansing or the cycle, which is about to happen. Very creepy stuff. Hopefully, our character is is here to try and stop it with him. And I I love the character Tilo Aranfil. He's really well voiced and well well thought out as a character. There he goes. And yeah, so we're here at the Eye of the Gods in the Sun Temple. Well, let me see. Um, yes, yeah, so we have to do this trial at the Heartlands border. So let's go and do that, because Tilo Aranfield wants us to join his order and become a keeper. Hi. Yeah, I don't need to talk to you. He calls us prophetess now, so I'm guessing that's our role in our in this whole game now. Kind of like the Dragonborn in Skyrim. So yeah, I have to go to the northern, no, the Heartland border to do this trial with two other keepers, or two other novices we're going to become keepers. So, let's go to the Mara Tower. Alright. I'll turn floating markers off at some point. Um, yeah, Heartland's border. Make sure that I go to the right place. Hi. Walk less, my lady. Where do you need to go? I need a flight. Sure. Where to? The border of the heartland. We are. Let's get this trial done. And then hopefully we'll be exalted into the role of a keeper. And then we can continue on our fight against this cycle. Very cryptic, weird stuff. Here we are. I'm going to turn off floating markers now because they just annoy me. It's like the game has to be immersive. Uh, where is it? Oh, it's here. Okay, so let's go talk to this this guy. Give him that package that Tilo gave us last episode. Hi. Yes. Uh, Grandmaster Aranthiel sent me. I'm supposed to take the trial to become a keeper. Oh, yes. You're the prodigy. Hmm. I was expecting something else. I hope hmm. you're aware of what you're getting yourself into. Our novices trained for years for this trial. And as much as I respect the Grandmaster, I think this is naive. In other words, it will be dangerous. Be aware of that. Hmm. Um, the way the Grandmaster put it, I don't seem to have much of a choice if we want to keep living. That is true. How selfless of you! But <laughs> as you wish. I don't think he likes uh, me. Then it seems I'm granted the extraordinary honour of exalting the first pathless in the history of the Order to a Keeper. The others will scream for joy. I'm sure they will. Give me the package the Grandmaster gave you, and say hello to your new comrades. I have to go prepare something. Okay, so here are the two novices. Hi, Kalia. Kalia? What? I'm not sure. Oh, hello. Hi. You're our unexpected addition, aren't you? The prodigy? <laughs> uh, yes, but call me gonna die a lot. Sounds less awkward. It does, actually. I still love that name. Karish. By my path, novice and aspirant to the first sigil. I have been told what you did in old Rationgrad. That you saved the excavations and fought back the mercenaries all on your own. That was me. An astonishing feat, truly. You have my respect for that. Thanks. Um... It wasn't much of a decision these days. I seem to get into trouble wherever I go. Well, as long as you handle it as well as you did in old Rationgrad, that's not a bad thing, is it? 
I you guess know, not. I'm really curious as to what the mercenaries thought they were doing. Someone willing to attack the Holy Order is either extremely powerful or extremely naive. Probably both. Anyway, it's been an honor to meet you in person. Let's talk later. Sounds good. I like her. Kalia Sakarish. I'm pretty sure she's one of the romance options. Yeah, let's... who's this? Dunwar. I don't want to hear it. I beg your pardon? You're prattling. I don't want to hear it. Just shove off. Oh, he's nice. <laughs> As you wish, princess. Heretics. He does not like me. All right, enough of the chatter. Come here. Here. These potions will be necessary later, so be careful with them. Apart from that, it's still a few miles to the ritual place. As you're all gifted with magic, the spores in the forest ahead will make you a little dizzy, but we won't stay for long. Any questions? Oh, so knowledge. Um, what spores are you talking about exactly? <sighs> long story. Simply put, they come from a special kind of mushroom that has infested this forest, and staying near them worsens the arcanist's fever. So, hmm. in case you're thinking about exploring further, take some magical protection and some ambrosia with you. I'm yet to get magical protection. Oh, I've gained 10 knowledge points. Receive a permanent bonus in your skills. Hmm. Alright, then let's go. Good. Stay close to me. So I'm guessing this is the whisper word, I think they called it. Yeah. Uh, oh. It's too late for that now. Would you conquer the city. That's it. You will be ashamed. Is this the vision? Jeez. Okay, um. Do I have to tell him about it? Huh? I just had another vision. <sighs> oh, did you now? So? What did you see? A horde of naked Skarag women charging towards us? Um, no, I... Okay, look. You're very impressive and talented, I get it. But please, spare me this rubbish about visions and echoes of the future. Teolor always had a fondness for those kind of things, but I'm not really one for all that. So, let's keep going. Okay, then. So I'm guessing not many people like my role as the prophetess. So I think it's because I'm forest. Oh, sorry. Fascinating. Oh, forest, not I've woods. Read a lot about it, but never actually seen it. Poor thing. My brothers and I have seen the border countless many times before. I bet you know all about the Undercity's rat holes instead. God, he's not nice to anyone, is he? At least it's not just me. But yeah, not many people seem to like my role as the prophetess. Or pus beetle. Ugh. Um, I don't even have any weapons equipped. Hang on. Uh, you hear? The solely is mace. Hmm. <laughs> um, I might as well take that. They're doing most of the work, to be honest. Focus, Kalia. Focus. Yes, Kalia, focus. I'm just gonna let them do it. That's all you've got. Oh god. Get him. Thank God. Oh, my arcane fusible was, and that's probably what that Yorick meant Wait, by this forest. Worsening the arcane yes, fever. What is he doing? What is he doing? He's probably just a traveler. He shouldn't be here. No merchant in his right mind would voluntarily travel through the whispering forest. We'll go take a look at him. Stay ready. Looks like he's mining. What is he mining? Oh dear. She's with me now. 
that, that's a, that's a dead body Kirash. or a skeleton. What? You there? Who are you? And what are you doing here? And the dead donkey. She's with me now, forever. Is this what the red madness? Identify yourself. Does he His have eyes. red eyes? Master, this <gasps> is the does. red madness. Shit! Of course. You will put away that pickaxe right now, my sir, and then get on your knees. She wanted to leave. Don't you understand? She wanted to leave. Oh, that's creepy. Just like that. This but is now, disgusting. She will stay. What is he doing? She promised. Her. Oh, Jesus. By the he killed him. Earth. Have you lost your mind? I could ask you the same thing, damn it. Did you forget what Magister Yero did to the novices? Uh, true. This man could have attacked us at any moment. Oh, really? Malthus protect us from your cunning. But did the thought ever cross your mind that what? Sorry, I'm just gonna turn off floating markers again because they've turned on again. To understand a disease in order to heal it, and that some apothecary might have given their left hand for a living patient. This, you're not being fair, Master. I was only protecting us. Like heck you did. You behaved like an idiot. And not for the first time. The other Ooh, this guy has a history. Fact due to your religious commitment and your bloodline. I get that. But if something like this ever happens again, you will be suspended from the rites and will spend the rest of your life polishing prayer banks in the sanctum. Do I make myself clear? He really was trying to protect us, Master. Maybe... Do I make myself clear? You. You do, Master. And I beg your forgiveness for my offense. <sighs> Granted. Now let's push on. We will take care of the body after the ritual. Okay, so maybe nobody really likes Dunmar. <laughs> Are you okay? Just save it. He seems a bit, you know, like he gets on everybody's nerves. Rollout to Shara, haha, <laughs> Rollout to Questline. Can't wait to do the Rollout to Questline. Is this the place? Looks like it. Ooh. Here it is, the first foothold. This is where Malthus's vassals erected their first camp. So behave yourselves accordingly. You too, prodigy. Please don't say it like that. <laughs> Nobody likes me. Just turn the music down a little. Well then, before we start, there's something I need to tell you. Something, uh, important. The rumours concerning the deaths of the Lightborn, they're true. What? The we already know about this. Dead. They fell two winters ago beneath the sword of an unknown traveller. We, that is, the Order, have known about this for quite some time now, but haven't told the common people yet. But since the two... The three of you intend to take Hi. the trial. There's no way to disguise the truth anymore. But how can a god die? Uh, there was a prophecy, as old as the light born themselves, in which there was talk of a shadow god who now it's all the around you. of gods. And it came true. I'm sorry. You're sorry. Oh, You're no. telling us that the gods have been killed. And you are sorry. What's next? That tomorrow the sun will stop shining? I wouldn't say that. The cleansing is coming. This is a test, Master. It is, isn't it? A test of our faith. No. The Lightborn are dead. But, hard as it may be to accept, we cannot afford we? to fall into a spiritual crisis right we? now. We... The Order of the Gods, Malthus's Order, was created to protect the Lightborn. And if what you're saying, this, this blasphemy is true, then we're meaningless. We failed, don't you see that? 
Oh, by the Black Guardian, I, I just can't believe it. And I do kind of sympathize, sim sympathize with him. Third Revelation, verse 137. I know it's hard, Dunwar, but if this is true, we have to show strength and keep on believing in what the Lightborn stood for. Which is the idea of peace and... Oh, just shut your mouth, Sakaresh. If anything, you lowborn scum are living proof that the order is going downhill. Oh. Do you really think I don't know about the village? You're a damned witch, and if this were the old times, you would have been crucified long time ago. What happened you in the village? Drop it, for Ooh. heaven's sake! We're all on the same side here. No, we are not. This wench doesn't have any right to wear the white robes. And if you would spend more time with the holy scriptures instead of your brandy bottle, <gasps> you would see it as well. Jesus Dunwatch, but shut no, up. You just shut up. He's I digging himself a dig deeper grave. Word and you will wish that I just suspended you. But no buts. Do you understand? Yes. <sighs> I hope so, for your sake. Just be glad that this is a time when we need skilled mages more than ever. Just be glad. Now enough of this. Our demeanor defiles this sacred place. There will be enough time for depression and personal crisis after the trial. Let's recite the holy words. I don't know the holy words. Thou art my light, my glimmer at the horizon. Thy name is my sacrament and thy path I will honor, in life as in death. May, May your light, your guide, light me. guide me. May your light guide Good. me. I as did you it. know, this trial will test the fortitude of your spirit, because this is what um, distinguishes a keeper from a soldier. This what must be his first time. a wise man from a fool. Keep that in mind. Now, drink the potion I gave you. You first, prodigy. Of Let's course. Let's hope the Grand Master was right about you. Let's do this. Strange potion. Good night. I feel like this trial isn't going to be as easy as it seems. Okay, where am I? A dark, dingy cell. Hi, whoever you are. Oh no. Ikeson. No, no, no. I knew I wouldn't be the last one. Did they also okay. tell you the tales about the Keeper's spirit? They've lured you into a trap, you know. And you fell for it. Because you're arrogant. Just as I am. As I was. Hmm. Well. You're not real, are you? He's not. Uh, of course not. At least not according to your definition of the word. But then again, what is reality anyway? If I told you that you and your friend Sirius actually lie dead at the bottom of the sea and that everything that has happened so far, your journey to Ark, the search at the Sun Coast, was only a dream, would you be able to recognize the truth? It's a rather long dream. The answer is no. Because you don't want to be dead. Therefore, your mind will do anything to make you believe this entire dream you've had was and is reality. How am I able to dream if I'm not actually dead? That doesn't make any sense. <sighs> doesn't it? Tell me, what is time to the dead and dreaming anyway? The last second before the water floods into your lungs. The very last instant before it tears them apart. In your mind, it could be an eternity. The voice acting is so good. Oh. A self-created sanctuary built from nothing but your wishes. It's like psychological horror. What's the horror. point in talking anyway? 
You don't want to believe me. And I'm tired of trying to make you. We've been talking for like a minute. Before we make the suppressor even angrier. He doesn't like words. He likes the silence. The suppressor? Who are you talking about? What? They haven't told you about him? Oh, that's so typical. The suppressor. He's the reason why we will be imprisoned here forever. And why we can't access our feelings and wishes. And he does it because he wants us to lose hope. To stop believing. Hmm. And... You know, sometimes I wonder if that's exactly what we humans... What I have to do to finally be free. Give up. Detach myself from the dreams of the past. Who knows if there were anything else than phantasms to begin with. But no. No, not yet. It's too early to surrender. And isn't that what makes us human anyway? Yes. To hope? And to just keep on waiting for that one miracle that will end the pain once and for all? Yeah. Yeah, I'll wait. And you will wait with me forever. Oh, I will, will I? I don't know about that. Ixen. Move out of the way. I'm gonna escape from this using my mind powers. I didn't actually expect that to happen. <laughs> Told you, mind powers. Uh, how did you do that? I'm the prophet. Uh, I wish I knew. You I do. I'm the prophet. You simply opened it. Yep. But that's impossible. Well, you ain't got These mind powers. Kept me from escaping, and you just opened it because I've got mind powers. Come, come on. Maybe we, you should have been a prophet. We have to look. We, we have to look and see what's outside. We won't get far, but still, we, we have to see. Come, lead the way. Come on then, Ixen. And I, I have a knife. <laughs> okay. So none of these cells even seem to be full. So it's literally just us in here. What the hell are you? Sedusa. Great. So I could actually die in my own mind. Amazing. <laughs> that chair is floating. He ain't helping me, is he, Ixen? Okay, um... A lot of corpses everywhere. Hello. What's this? Written paper. I'm gonna, like, you can pause this if you wanna read it. What would Sirius say about this? Oh, don't talk about Sirius. So this is, this seems to me like, it's like, all the things that our character is paranoid about, like in one like setting sort of thing, so it's like a test to see if we can make it through without losing hope, I guess, like what Ixon was saying. Is this open that? No, it doesn't. I don't think we even need to open this. That just turned on that furnace for some reason. Oh, God. Okay, let's go another way. Oh, that made me jump. <laughs> so I'm guessing there's another way then because you can't go through that way. Here we are. Oh, there's two here. At least they're not too hard to, to deal with. It's so cold. Is it? Maybe it wasn't. Such a good idea to go out. After all, I mean, I mean, yeah. Yes, the cell is small, but at least it's safe. Yeah, it's safe for you because you aren't even doing anything to help me. I'm literally killing all these, and you were doing nothing. What in the world? Oh, God. 
Our mind's pretty messed up. I'm surprised if this is our own mind, if we find people like Sirius and that lot in here. I mean, I wonder who Ikeson is. Are these all, these are all skulls. Great. But yeah, if this is our own mind, then who in the world is Ikeson? Is he like a, like a part of our consciousness? Oh, Jesus. I don't want to die in here. Why are you so far behind? We should never have left. This will be our doom. Yeah, well, if you don't leave, then you'd never know. So I think we did the right thing. Oh, no. No, no, no. Do you see it? All the cells. They're all empty. And there's blood. Are they? Oh, oh yeah, no. there are. There were people in there just like us. We don't they know that. Know their place either, and, and now they're dead. They've simply <laughs> dissolved because they dared to disobey the suppressor. You're so paranoid. By the gods, this is what will happen to us too. I knew it was a mistake to leave in the first place. I just knew it. But we left. Okay. Um. Who's this? Um, is that actually him? Is that actually... That is him. <laughs> okay, yeah. I was talking about this earlier, with Sirius maybe being in here. That is our father that we saw in the first little cutscene bit. Is that like a note or anything? Nope. Oh, that was a bit unsettling. <laughs> What's this? Remorse. Okay. Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh, time to skip. All right, let's try and get the skull again. I don't even think we need it, but I'm gonna save because I don't want to accidentally die again. Uh. Oh, I did it. Yes. Right now, what, what even is this thing supposed to be? It's just a skull that says remorse. Maybe I, n I need it. Where are you, Sirius? Here you are. Right, come on. We might nearly be out. What in the world? Ah, oh, here. What's this? Uh, move items. Keyed freedom. Hmm. Can I maybe like swap and put this skull on there and then take the key off and it won't lock us in here because then it'll be like countering the weight. Oh god. <laughs> I just yeeted it. Please just go on here. No. S stay. <laughs> stay please. Yay, thank you. Key to, the, key to the freedom grammar can I like lock him in here so I'm pretty sure it's him that like is the bad guy here so can I like lock him in there if I like take the skull off while he's in there do you think the, the chain things will go up come on I want you to stay in here I'm gonna keep trying because I want to lock him in here. That'd be so funny. Come on. This, this is so wrong. Here we are. And right. Uh, at the same it time, didn't even do anything. I, I know we can't okay, escape, let's just go in. Outside. That is, it's literally our cell that we were just in. We've gotten a complete circle. Yay! And we're trapped again. Oh no, no. Oh no, yes. Can't you see? We're, we're back. We're back where we started, is that what you were going to say? Why are you doing this? What? Leave me alone. What have I done? Oh, this is punishment. It will be horrible. Uh, why are you so afraid of this suppressor? I haven't even seen anything. Wait, no. 
Um, who are you? A part of me? Uh, an illusion? Of course I'm a part of you, and you are a part of me. Isn't that obvious? I'll ask the other question in a minute. I should have known you wouldn't understand. You're too weak. You always were. Excuse me? Yeah, um, why are you so afraid of this suppressor? I haven't even seen anything. No, you haven't. Because you're blind. The suppressor is here. In every single stone. In every bone. In every drop of blood. And yet you are too blind to see it. But I should have known. I mean, what can you expect from someone who has killed his entire family? Uh, that's not me. <laughs> I followed you because for a brief moment, you made me want to believe, and now well, because I killed my family. Into the abyss along with you. Okay, uh, but there must be a way out of here. No, there isn't. Just look at us. Look at what we are. We are the damned because we are trapped too deeply in the past, and that's why we do not deserve freedom. I think just you don't deserve freedom. I honestly think that it's him that's keeping me in here. But yeah, because I, I can't use my mind god powers to go out again. Um, I don't want to sleep because that won't do anything. Um, yeah, I don't think there's any other way other than going through him. Can I, like, I want to attack, attack him and then put the bucket on his head? Don't mind me. Just like go to sleep. Um, all right, whatever. I'm just gonna get my axe out and hit him. I can't hit him with the skull. That would be funny though. Attack. Well, well. So you. I told you. Out. Yes, I am. What keeps you in this place? I don't know why you went close all of a sudden. You have you truly understood who I am? Have you Bit understood what drives you and determines your actions? The salt corrodes your skin, and the water filling your lungs is cold. But you still haven't found it, child, have you? His voice acting is really good. <laughs> Joyce, most voice, most of the voice acting in this is amazing. But especially Ike's on it. He just makes oh, it's like weird. Okay, so I, I'm in the Sun Temple, I think. Oh, level up. I won't do it now, though. So, oh, it's just Spa. Why is there such a weird, creepy doll thing there? <laughs> Hi. Oh, hey. Good to see you awake. How are you feeling? Uh, fine, I guess. Where are we? In the temple. The Curarium, to be precise. You were brought here when you were traveling with that Ixen guy. I think How the others he know? Were awake, but I didn't want to leave you here, so I thought I'd just stay. I mean, hey, you are a keeper of the first sigil now, aren't you? I believe congratulations are in order. <laughs> Thanks. Don't mention it. Bad, though, that this keeperness won't get you anywhere. Do you know why? Because you're pathetic. Simply what? pathetic. Excuse me? I said you are pathetic. At okay, first, he changed voice. It would be more exciting this time. <laughs> but now that we've seen the new prophet, our hopes are gone. You're a joke. Huh? A nobody who let his only friend kick the bucket. Oh my god, Sirius is green. Ever accept that? You humans are always so damn persistent, aren't you? Why? Why can't you just let go? I'm being bullied. Because in the end, you are powerless, just as all those before you. And you, prophetess, you are the biggest joke of all. You are nothing but an urchin. A weakling. Thanks. And a murderer. I am? Hi, Rantheo. that is why you will burn. Of course. All of you. The cleansing will happen. And there's nothing you can do to stop it. Creepy voice. Uh, so you're the ones behind it, aren't you? Why are you doing this? What have we done to you? What have you done to us? You are so naive. The world is an interplay of cause and effect. 
and the only logical consequence of your existence is annihilation. That's the way it was, and that's the way it's going to be. But enough of the banter, urging you. I like we banter though. You, and so we did, even though the result is rather sooner. Now wake up. Keep on stumbling through the mist. Call me an urchin. And a joke. And pathetic. I don't like being bullied by stupid non-existent demon things. <laughs> to be fair though, that was rather sobering. And now I'm guessing we're actually waking up in the real world. Hi Demois. Are you dead? He won't let me talk to him. Hmm. Clear. Hi. Thank Malthus. I was starting to think I was the only one. How are you? You look exhausted. Uh, yeah, I, I had a bad dream. You did? A nightmare. That's probably one of the after effects of the potion, but it will pass, I'm sure of it. I don't know about that. But it's good to see the Grandmaster was right after all. I woke up just a few hours earlier, and he was here in the meantime. He didn't doubt for a single second that you would make it. But I suppose mutual congratulations are in order. We made it. We passed the trial. So does that make us keepers now? Almost, yes. All that is left to do is to take the oath, and then Grandmaster Aranthiel will exalt us to the keepers of the first sigil. Speaking of whom, he also told me some things while you were asleep. About the Pyrians, about these dreams, and of course, about this... cycle. <sighs> this is so bizarre, really. At first we're told out of nowhere that the gods have died, and now humanity is on the brink of extinction. This is a lot to take in. Um, uh, I figured, what do you make of all this, the cycle, this cleansing? Hard to say. I never had those dreams the Grandmaster talked about, even though I'm magically gifted. But then again, I always had the feeling that the Red Madness was more than an ordinary disease. <sighs> well, I suppose all of this explains a lot. At least now I can understand why the Grandmaster was willing to break all the traditions of the Order just to get you exalted to be a Keeper. According to him, most of our battle against the Cycle will stand or fall with you. Hmm. <laughs> So what's the next step? Well, as I said, we both have to take the Holy Oath. You should talk to the Grand Master as soon as you're ready. He's waiting for you in the Emporium. Hmm. We both. What about Dunwar? Right. Dunwar. The Apothecary examined him about an hour ago, and it doesn't look good. It's likely that he'll never wake up again. Jesus. Hmm. Maybe a little self-control would have done him some good. He was... impulsive, yes. But to some extent, I can understand why he was the way he was. You know, Dunwar was one of those people who tried to gild their insecurity with boastful behavior. The reality is that he was the last of his bloodline, and his faith in the path and his destiny as a keeper were all that he had left. And who knows, maybe he would have been a great help to the Order with the right guidance. But I guess Master Bartar's revelation was just too much for him. It's hard to be told that everything you've lived for was a lie. Oh, here's a, a character thing. Um, you don't seem to be too shaken up over all of this. The death of the Lightborn, I mean. Well, maybe I just don't show it as much. But yes, in a way, you're probably right. I suppose that's mainly due to the fact that to me, as opposed to Dunwar, the Order always stood for an idea. And an idea doesn't die with the one who first thought of it. Funny that the Grandmaster said nearly the same thing during the Exaltation. Dunwar would have considered it blasphemy. Um. Interesting thought. Speaking of Dunwar, what was that thing at the ritual place all about? He called you a witch. Mm. I knew the question would come eventually. I suppose the answer depends on whether you're in the mood for some gloomy talk. Sooner or later you'll hear it from someone else anyway, so... Why not from me first? She doesn't really seem like she wants to talk about it. Um, mm, another time, perhaps. Right, then. What, she just... What? 
because you waited too long and you accepted a set of companion. No, I want to experience her storyline. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, can I reload a save, please? I don't want to fail this. Can I reload a save? Oh, I won't let me. Um, let me skip through this. Late, but good. Then get your gear. Yes, load. Let's try this again, shall we? <laughs> I don't. I really don't want to lose her storyline. Why not for me first? I wouldn't have asked if I weren't interested. Shoot. I. <sighs> Where should I start? Maybe with the fact that I don't remember anything that happened before my sixth winter. I don't know where I was born, and I never got to know my parents. You don't remember? How I come? I wish I knew. What I do know, though, is that the first memory I have is of waking up in the middle of some village. It was dark, and I felt dizzy, and... I don't know... empty? That's probably the best way to describe it. I eventually found the strength to get up and look around, and... Well, that's when I realized what was actually going on around me. What? The entire village. It had been destroyed. There God. were corpses everywhere. Men, women, children. And the houses had been crushed as if some mad god had rampaged through the streets there. And it had all just happened hours before because the destruction was still fresh. Whatever it was, I didn't have much time to think about it. As soon as I got up, I saw three riders coming through the smoke. One of them got off his horse, ran towards one of the corpses, and started screaming something in my direction. Then I felt a blow on the back of my head, and I lost consciousness. By the name of the sun, it's... It's strange to talk about it like this. It's been so long, but the memory feels as if it had happened yesterday. Why did those men attack you? Um... Well, it turned out the riders were hunters who had come from that village. They must have observed the... whatever it was from the distance, and ridden back to the village. At least I think that's how it went. I guess I'll never find out. The reason they thought I was somehow involved is that the village priest found me a couple of days before it happened near a shrine in the wilderness. Apparently, I was wearing torn clothing, and no matter what the apothecary tried, he couldn't wake me up from my comatose sleep. And it seems that made the writers think I was some kind of witch child, or unholy beast, whichever you prefer. They really thought a six-year-old child destroyed an entire village? That's ridiculous. For you, maybe. For them, as simple people, it was probably the best explanation they had. And think about it, it's not that far off. A motherless child who neither talks nor breathes steadily is found abandoned on the roadside and has a strange mark on her face. They leave to go hunting, and when they come back, they find their village in ruins with that foundling child being the only survivor. You have to admit, it's not that much of a stretch, even if those men hadn't been superstitious farmers. I see. And these men wanted to do what exactly? Take revenge? Probably. Truth be told, I try not to think about it too much. And actually, it doesn't matter, because I somehow managed to get away before they could do anything. I even made it to Ark all by myself, which didn't turn out to be much of an improvement in the end, because I was pathless. They brought you to the Undercity, right? Yes. Thinking about it now, I actually wonder how I made it through my time down there. But maybe that's one of the advantages of being a child. You don't think. You just act. Still, the winters down there were cruel. And if Master Tyrus hadn't found and taken care of me, I probably wouldn't have made it through my second year. Master Tyrus, a keeper adopted yes. you? Yes, otherwise I would not be here. He saw me, and he knew what he had to do, is how he put it. Of course, the Order wasn't too happy about a pathless child in the Scuola, just as some aren't happy about you being here. But Tyrus was a highly regarded man, and that's why they let it slide. Um, 
So, Master Tyrus granted you the novitiate? Yes, and now I'm here. <sighs> well, here we've reached the end of my impressive tale. I hope you liked it. <laughs> yeah. We're definitely not... I think I'm gonna go with the first one. Yeah. You're definitely not the fisherman's no, daughter from the village. I guess I'm not. So that means Donwar believes that this story about you being responsible for the destruction of the village is actually true? He does, yes. And he's not alone in his opinion. One of those hunters recognized me in the market my first year as a novice, and you can imagine that it was easy pickings for those who were already against my presence in the Order. From then on, they added names to the derogatory stairs. Demon Child, Witch, whatever they could come up with. Hmm. Well, I saw your skills and you're the only one who made it through the trial. The way they treat you probably has more to do with jealousy than anything else. I want to be nice to her. Maybe, but everything I'm capable of is the fruit of hard work. Though they will never acknowledge that. You know what's funny? To some extent, I'm glad to be who I am. That way, people just leave me alone, and that gives me more time to focus on what's important. On my goals. Which would be? Several. But I'd say that's enough of the gloomy stories, don't you think? There will be plenty of time for chatter in the future. Maybe. <laughs> Let's talk later. I should go see the Grandmaster you now. Should. It's already late, but if you want, I can show you the most important places in the temple before you go to the Emporium. What do you think? Um, that would be nice. Good. Then get your gear from the chest by your bed and we'll go. So I'm sure that Kalia and Jaspar are the two romance options. And I, obviously I want to I wanna romance Jaspar, but I do also want to keep Kalia with like a Let's high go. relationship status because her storylines are like really nice to... Are you gonna move? Clear? Here are. Her storylines are really good and I want to be able to share them obviously on the channel. Come on then. This is the Sanctum. It's a place of silence and prayer, and also where we'll be exalted later. Hmm. Oh god. Hi. <laughs> There's a huge Thou statue as well. Pathlessness, whatever you look, where is this Thy supposed to be? Oh shit, it is Inal is the language which is spoken on all continents. So I'm guessing that's like English in like this law. Inal. <laughs> okay, I think you've seen this place before. I have. call this part of the temple the Chronicum. And in here is gathered the knowledge of the Order, written down in books and parchments. Plus, all of the experiments and research on artifacts and magic is done here. So it's a place you'll probably see often in the near future. Ah, and just below the Chronicum is the Temple Smithy. You should go there if you need equipment. Over there, that's the Scuola and oh, the Quarters. I think she means over there. <laughs> and the novices live. There's also a training room where everything from swordplay to marksmanship can be trained and taught. You will find some skilled teachers there. Well, I think that's about it. You've already been to the Emporium, and I assume to the Eye of the Gods as well. Yep. I suggest you speak to the Grandmaster as soon as you're ready to take the oath. Fair enough. What will you do? Prepare myself, probably. Now walk blessed. I will see you soon. Goodbye, Kalia. Okay, let's go talk to Aranthiel. So it says go into there, but I honestly think it says 
I'm supposed to meet him in the Emporium, so I'm just going to go through the Emporium way. Here we are. See, he is in the Emporium. I think that was just a little bug. That sounds absurd. I don't believe mm -hmm. I know. The mercenary, he might not be the shining knight of Castle Star Sound, but he's better than most of your men. That's just bad. I want him, and you will need to convince your true Chesser of it. Is that so? Very well, I will convince her. You will hear from me. I hope so. Cool, cool. Prophetess, good to see you. How do you feel? Um, like a newborn except for a bloody headache and that pretty messed up journey into my own mind. You've never been in any danger. If I had doubted your abilities, even to the slightest, I would have never spoken out for you. In any case, all that is left to do now is to recite the oath. Then we will finally deal with the more urgent matters. Um... What do I have to swear on? The dead gods? My loyalty towards the Order? None of it. You'll see. Fine. I'm ready when you the are. The ceremony needs a little preparation. One day at least. Of course. Come back then. Even if it hurts to lose more time, the cleansing approaches. I can feel it. Just this night I had another of the dreams. A dream? What did you see? People I knew, including you. But these people weren't themselves. There was something else, and it spoke through them. They mocked us and said our struggle against the cycle was pointless. It was peculiar. He must have had the same dream I had I then. I that these beings are connected to the cycle. They must be the ones who cause it. That's interesting. I had the same dream before I woke up in the Criarium. You did? Curarium. That is interesting. It must be related to our roles as emissaries. Maybe there is a connection between us. Any idea who or what these beings are? None. Maybe they are demons or magical entities of some kind, but they are different from everything I know. In any case, if they are indeed responsible for the cycle, they are our enemies. That's what matters for now. Come back tomorrow for the ceremony. Okie dokie. Yeah, that's just normal dialogue. Okay. Um, oh, um, had caps on. So, I'm not actually gonna go and like go off and do things to wait that long. So, I'm just going to go to a bed because that's the only way you can wait in this game. So, yeah, off to the quarters. This is holy ground, Outlander. Wait, is that. You, do you want me? There you are. Hi. Here. A letter for you. Oh. Um. <laughs> thanks, kid. What? I'll give him ten oh, pennies. That's very generous of you. You're welcome. Thank you. Safe travels. And may his light guide you. Gotta be nice to the kids. <sighs> we were all once kids. Right, letter. let's see what this letter is about. Um. Here. Congratulations for passing the trial. You already know how I feel about that red coke. La la la. Oh, it's just spa. <laughs> Meet me at the old watchtower at the western gate of Ark. I think that's the main gate. Yeah, quarterly just spa. That's nice of him. So I'm guessing this is a, another like cutscene in where we can boost our relationship with huh, just bar. I was told Hi. you know a lot about swordplay. To see if there's any truth. Yeah, I've heard you say that before. So yeah, let's go and see what he wants at the old watchtower. I do want to slowly do a lot of the qu the quest lines in Endor, though, like the mini miscellaneous quests. When it says like wait a day or something like that, I'll usually do a couple of those. But I think because 
I, want, I don't want to cut this too long. Here we are. Watchtower, yeah. Ah, there, there you is. are. Glad you made it. So, how was it? I heard quite some stories about this trial. I was never sure what to make of it. <laughs> um, it was different than what I expected. How come you're still here? I thought you wanted to be on a boat to Calais. Yeah, I changed my mind. Come, let's go upstairs. It'll be worth it. Hmm. Okay, come on then. Oh, he's walking slow. I like little little moments like these where you really get to know each of the characters. Are we going up? Yeah, I think so. There we are. <laughs> uh, wait a second. So, wine or pipe? Um, wine sounds good. Termitralian brandy, vintage 8190. A real treasure. Consider it a congratulatory gift for passing the trial. Thank you. <laughs> Little third person, ac third person action there. Nothing better than a good pipe and a nice sight to go along with it. I mean, it's, it's so kind of misty in writing. People can truly appreciate these things. It's not really a nice anyway, sight. Tell me, fair lady. Yes. What is it that drives you? I've been asking that myself since we met. I mean, it's not like anyone's forcing you to play errand boy for Arenthiel, is there? And with your abilities, you could make a fortune as a mercenary. Not to mention the danger you put yourself in. Securing the excavation site, passing the trial. They certainly haven't been easy on you so far. Hmm. I don't know. I guess being a person of importance is a welcome change from my Ostian days. That's true. Huh. I figure. In any case, it's interesting to see how you've gotten from being a magically gifted refugee to the center of all this. Hmm. It kind of reminds me of a woman I used to travel with. Alicia. No matter where she went, she always ended up in the eye of the storm. How did you end up traveling with her? We got hired for the same job. Usually I work better on my own, but this partnership was refreshing in every aspect. It felt good to know someone's got your back for a change, especially with the kind of work I do. Which is why we decided to stick together after that first job. And it went great, at least initially. <laughs> she just cared too much. You know? Yeah, she was a mercenary, but she only ever picked the jobs where she thought she could help people. Or at least do no damage. As you can imagine, that doesn't always work out in my profession. And whenever it didn't, she really took it to heart. It was sad, if you think about it, really. Um, how come you split up? I think that's... That was, I should know, yeah, that uh, one. Let me think. About three years. Yeah. We went to Eurasial, Kira, Arkwend, and one time we even fought a group of petrified on Millet. <sighs> she fought as ardently as she lived. She's dead. I don't know how I would have survived that fight without her. Um, yeah, I'm gonna... How, how come you spell? Too different. I, I guess that's what it comes down to. Let's face it, I, I'm a pathetic white knight, and an even worse world savior. Lysia and I, we were just bound to clash. We were lovers, then friends, then lovers again, and so on and so forth. <laughs> Ultimately, that was just too much for me. Too extreme. Too absorbing. So she wanted something serious. Love. Love as she defined it, yeah. Had it been for her, we would have married after that first night. And what was it that you wanted? That's a long story. Not one that puts me in a favorable light. At least if you like most people. Let's save that for another time. So you split up? Split up. Yeah, that's one way to put it. But anyway, enough about me. What about you? Has there ever been someone in your life? Or have you always been the lone wolf? <laughs> um... Hmm... Oh, subtext. Am I sensing subtext here? Not that I'd mind. Oh my, is that how you think of me? Can't two good-looking adventurers have a nice chat on a beautiful evening without implications? <laughs> but jokes aside, I think I know what you're trying to say. And as attractive as you are... I'm attractive? I'm afraid I have to pass. 
So I'm guessing you're taken already? That woman from the tavern. Samara? No, I... I don't know. Maybe the entire thing with Lysia was enough for me. Sex is fine, but I guess I'm just not naive enough for anything else anymore. Just bars a player. Love, love, love. People have such lofty expectations these days, really. Sometimes I think it would help us all to admit that there isn't that much that separates us from the apes. Who says I'm looking for something binding? Yeah, I don't want to say that he's. You say what's there. on your mind, okay. I'll give you that. <laughs> but he likes as that anyway. Attractive as you are, I. It just wouldn't feel right. Stop saying I'm attractive. Why. Now, come on. Let's not make this unnecessarily awkward, shall we? We're here, we're having a good talk. Isn't that enough for the moment? Why don't you tell me a little more about this trial? I heard you passed it together with that quiet girl, Kalia. What's she like? I've heard some stories about her. There definitely are stories about her. Hmm. That's just life, I think. There comes a point when you've done all you can. My, my. We've certainly lost track of time, haven't Speak we? Speak me on. <laughs> I really need to hit the hay for a couple of hours now. I'll have to go look for some new work tomorrow. And I've heard about a nobleman who's looking for a sellsword. That is, if Arenthiel or old Bushybeard doesn't have a new job for me by then. Say what you want about them. Their pay is beyond generous. I'll see you around, fair lady. He always calls me fair lady. Okay, um, and I think that's where we will end this video here. So if you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss the next episode, which will be posted next Friday. So I do honestly hope that you enjoy and I hope that you are enjoying this. So goodbye.